Hey everybody, Ben Name Jay here, and I'm going to be reviewing Ultimate Comics X-Men. This is part three! Jean Grey, who's now Kieran Grant, is going into a house to check out uh, this new mutant. She's like, I'm recruiting her and putting in her safe care. Don't worry about her. And I'll teach her how to control her power so that she can assimilate in the world without actually, you know, using her powers out, you know... You know, doing it without even noticing. And then after that, she's like, as soon as, soon as she's talking to the mother, the mother's like, I thought, uh, it's too late. And then all of a sudden, she's like, what are you talking about? And all of a sudden, bam! The father comes in and shoots the daughter dead. And the daughter was asleep anyway because the daughter's kind of like a psychic. And every time she uses her second powers, she gets tired really quick and goes to sleep. So they're like, perfect time to kill my daughter. do 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 I love you, baby. I mean, yes, that's kind of sad. That, that not kind of sad. That is sad. I mean, the hell. It's really twisted. But in a way, if you think about human char characteristics, you think that it would actually happen. People are dramatic enough to do stuff like that. Okay. So we skip across here, and we're hearing about a woman named Valerie Cooper, and she's talking to people in a press conference, and they're like, how are people reacting to this fact that mutants are not only engineered through science, but the American government created them? Yes, in the Ultimate Universe, mutants were not born from some type of genetic anomaly or through evolution, but they were a product of a scientific experiment to make soldiers to fight. And, yeah, it's a little messed up, right? And uh, she's like, well... They're taking it pretty well, and all of a sudden, you see in three different cities, burning and destruction, and everybody's like, ah, this is terrible, how could you do this to us? Ah, oh, it's all been a lie, a lie, you big fat phonies! Something like that. And then after that, they show what's going on with Colossalus, he's getting shocked. They're showing what's going on with Storm. She's behind a gated community, and if she tries to leave, she'll get shocked. And after that, you see Rogue running away, and all of a sudden, she starts fighting off these guys who are shooting at her. And then after that, she gets shocked. Not shot, but shocked. Like, zzz, ah! And then after that, it jumps straight to Nick Fury. And Nick Fury is like, what the hell's going on here? I make him sound a little bit country. Let, let's let's keep Nick Fury as some type of country thing. So it was like, all oh, this civil unrest. And all of a sudden, uh, Pietro comes in. Pietro's like, hey, how you doing, Nick? He's like, what the hell are you doing here? It was like, calm down. I'm a part of the ult Ultimates. Yeah, used to be your mother. And, of course, yeah, a bunch of crazy stuff goes on. And then they show uh, still a bunch of crazy stuff. And here's the thing. Jimmy, Jimmy Wolverine's son, is like, That's it, man. We're in hiding. Now after that, they're thinking that we're some type of virus. I'm out of here. This is not the group for me. So he's going off on his own. And more likely, he's going to be meeting up with the three other characters who are going to somewhat make up the X-Men team. Kitty Pride, uh, Bobby Drake. And Johnny Storm. And kind of like how the cover goes. You see, oh, dang, this is the X-Men. This looks slightly cool. Seeing everybody in suits and ready to run out and kick some behind. And, of course, you don't see any suits. The only suits that you see is, of course, Johnny Storm putting on... Johnny Storm flaming up. Bobby icing out. And Kitty Pride uh, going into her ultimate version of The Shroud. As an issue alone, it actually gives you a better perspective of what's going on in the Ultimate Universe. Yes! Alone, this issue, I could say you could pick it up by itself. And I mean, like, as in, uh, how, how can I say this so that people can understand? If you are only going to pick up this issue and no other future issue right after number one, as in going from number one to number two... Don't bother. Get the trade. Or collect it. One of the two. You got your choices. I like the story. I will recommend a read from people. But when it comes down to that, 
this is not a standalone story. It's a to be continued. In a way, it kind of stands out as a to be continued. But to me, I could have just stopped it from there and just said that they'll pop up in other comics. But, you know, there's a number two coming out and then makes logical sense to go to a number two. It's a good story. It's still a little jumpy because, you know, X-Men has a lot of characters. Like, one group would be the Ultimate X, which would be uh, the Incredible Hulk, uh, Firestorm, and not Firestorm, Firestar, what's her name? Gosh! <whistles> really out of it. Some black dude who could turn into, like, some angel thing with a messed up face and claws and teeth and wings... A uh, girl who kind of has, her name is Liz Allen. She finds out that she's a mutant. Uh, you find her, find out that she's a mutant in Ultimate Spider-Man. And that's about it. But I don't want to go too further on this. I like the story, as I said. Again, I'm going to be repeating this to you guys. So this is Pen Name J signing out.